The purpose of the electronic kit is to allow the HMG target system to train in a variety of means. Whether close up in a shoot house for target identification or for unknown distance and unknown number of targets with a limited engagement time, the electronic kit takes the system to a new level. For instructions on removing springs from the target system and adding springs back to the target system, click the provided link. At the start of the operation video, you should have a target base with an electronic kit installed a remote, and an instruction manual. First, turn entire target system upside down, as shown in the diagram on the screen. If you haven't already done so, install batteries in the battery cage. Open the electronic protection box on the target base. Inside the electronic protection box is the electronic control board. This board controls which outputs respond when the corresponding channel button is used on the remote. The default settings for all electronic kits are Channel 7 opens the latch Channel 11 makes the linear actuator extend Channel 12 makes the linear actuator retract Step A Turn on the system by moving the power switch to the on position. The power switch is located on top of the electronic kit next to the latch. Step B. This is the control board diagram. After turning the power switch to the on position, wait approximately 30 seconds. This is the button on the control board. It is used to program the electronic kit. Push and hold the button on the control board until the signal LED flashes. Then release the button. Step C. Wait 3 to 5 seconds. Push and release the button again. And the signal LED should be lit up and not blinking, as you see here. If it is not, repeat step B and C until it is. Step D. Switch the remote to the on position. Then push and hold the number 7 button on the remote until the signal LED flashes rapidly. And continue to hold the button on the remote for 3 to 5 seconds. Step E. If this was successful, the signal LED will be off. But it will light up when different channel buttons are pushed on the remote. Step F. The control board is now properly programmed and ready for use. Step G. If the system is non-responsive when you press the channel button and the LED light does not light up, repeat steps A through F. Now we've completed the setup and programming portion of this video. Let's become familiar with operating this electronic kit. With the power switch in the on position, and the control board properly programmed via the previous instructions, the system is ready for use. This function will work out to approximately 1,000 meters and is line of sight based. If you are having trouble at extreme ranges, such as rough terrain with environmental obstacles, make sure the antenna attached to the system is in the line of sight of the remote. To release the latch and allow the target to return to the up position, simply push and release the 7 button on the remote. After the latch is released, the target will move to the up position and it will set to freely move between the up and down positions as the target receives fire. Target will return to the up position after the impact of the bullets pushes it back to the down position. To set the target to stay in the down position after receiving fire, push and release 8 button. Target will now lock in down position after it is impacted by bullets. It is possible to change this function such that the latch will be at momentary contact and will automatically be able to retain the target after every shot. There is also a manual latch release located on the back of the latch. 
take caution as the target will move forward quickly when manual latch release is actuated. There are other ways to move the target with the use of the linear actuator. The target is also able to be moved up or down remotely via the linear actuator attached. Here's how to operate this feature. A. With the target in the up position, push and release button 11 on the remote. This will extend the linear actuator and move the target to the down position. Step B. After two to six seconds, depending on the target design, the target will be in the down position and retained by the latch. For fast presentation, push and release button 12 on the remote and wait 5 to 10 seconds. Then push and release button 7 on the remote. This will release the latch and allow the target to spring into the up position ready to receive fire. For slow target presentation, press and release button 7 on the remote, and then push and release button 12 on the remote. This will release the latch and allow the linear actuator to slowly move the target to the up position ready to receive fire. Step C. After using the linear actuator to move the target up or down, push and release button 8 on the remote. This step is important and will prolong the battery life. The linear actuator, when not in use, should be stored in the completely retracted position, as you can see here. When finished using the system, turn the power switch to the off position to conserve battery life.